Hello, my name is TJ Kepsi Richard and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, our discussion on partial differential equation will be on finding a particular solution to the Laplace's equation. Last, we learn how to find a general solution to the heat, the wave and Laplace's equation. If you have not watched my videos on that, please check it out on YouTube. So last, we, we, we said the general solution to the Laplace's equations are this. When the constant lambda is equal to zero, and this when the lambda is greater than zero, and this when lambda is less than zero. So there are three equations, three general equations to the Laplace's equation. But today, we'll find just one particular solution to the Laplace's equation. So, they say find a particular solution to the partial differential equation del square u over del x square plus del square u over del y square equal to zero. Given that, given this boundary condition, u of zero y equal to zero, u of two y equal to zero, and u of x zero equal to zero, and u of x b equal to three sine pi over two x, where b is constant. So, when you look at the boundary conditions that you have been saying, you check the three general solutions and find out which of these general solutions satisfy the boundary conditions. So you can see that among the three band, uh, general solutions here, the third one, the third one, satisfy the boundary conditions given. So we will take the third one and given uh, this boundary condition, we substitute it to find one particular solution. This will be a very interesting engagement. Please take a seat. So, as we identify that this is our ideal e general equation that we can use to find uh, a particular equation. So we are going to deal with that. So let's sub substitute our, band uh, our boundary conditions to find a general solution. So let's substitute the first one u of 0, y equal to 0. So any place we see x in this equation, we substitute 0. So what do we have? We have c1 cos k times 0 plus c2 sine k times 0 times c3 e exponent ky plus c4 e exponent negative ky equal to 0. Is equal to zero, so we equate it to zero. Now this will be c1 cos zero plus c2 sine zero. Then we have our c3 e exponent ky plus c4 e exponent negative ky equal to zero. Now cos zero is one, so we have our c. 1 sine 0 is 0 times c2 will be 0. So our c1 c3 e exponent ky plus c4 e exponent negative ky equal to 0. Now I need c1. So I'll divide both sides by c3 e exponent ky plus c4 e exponent negative ky. So if I do that, I'll get c1 to be 0. So now if C1 is zero, I'll substitute it back into the general solution so that we eliminate that too. So our U of XY will be equal to will be equal to zero cos KX. So in place of C1, in place of this C1, I'll substitute zero. So zero KS plus C2 sine kx times my c3 e exponent ky plus c4 e exponent negative ky is equal to okay we are substituting to the general solution so now if zero multiply the whole of that it will be equal to zero so our general solution will be reduced to xy equal to c2 sine kx times c3 e exponent ky plus c4 e exponent negative ky 
So now this is our general solution that we have. We have we managed to eliminate our C1 since we know it's zero. Now we have this, we substitute the second boundary condition so that we see what happens. So now our general solution was reduced to this. Now we substitute the second boundary condition u of 2y equal to 0. So any place we see x, we substitute 2. So we have c2 sine 2k, what we put to there, then c3 e exponent ky plus c4 e exponent negative ky and to be equal to 0. So what will I have? I will have c2 sine 2k we we'll divide both sides by this. So we we'll have C2 sine 2k equal to 0. We we'll divide both sides. 0 divided by any number is 0. Now we can divide both sides by C2. So when we we'll divide both sides by C2, we can get sine 2k to be equal to 0. Now we we'll find 2k. 2k will be equal to sine inverse of 0. So our 2k, sine inverse of 0 will be pi. So our k will be equal to pi over 2. Now, so now we substitute k into our reduced general equation. Any place we see k, we, we substitute pi over 2 to any place we see k here. So that we see what happens next. So now let's substitute k equal to pi over 2 into our general equation. So how? We we'll have u of x y equal to c two pi c two sine c two sine pi x over two. When we substitute k in place of k, we we'll put pi over two. Then c three e exponent pi y over two plus c four e exponent negative pi y over 2. So now, we substitute the third boundary condition into this equation. Now let's substitute that. So any place we see y, we we'll put 0. So our u of x0 will be equal to c2 sine pi x over 2 and c3 e exponent pi times 0 over 2 plus c4 e exponent negative pi times 0 over 2 equal to remember it's equal to 0 so equal to 0 so what are we getting we have c2 sine pi x over 2 this is pi pi s over 2 times c3 e exponent 0 the whole of this will be 0 so e exponent 0 plus c4 e exponent 0 equal to 0 now we'll divide both sides by c2 sine pi x over 2 we we'll divide both sides but before that we we'll have c2 sine pi x over 2 e exponent 0 is 1 Yes, so we we'll have C3 plus C4 equal to 0. I want to make C3 C4 uh, C3 plus C4 the subject. So I'll divide both sides by this by 0 divided by all of this. So I'll have C3 plus C4. Remember any number divided by 0 will be 0. I'll make C4 the subject. My C4 will be equal to negative C3. So in place of C4. In place of C4 in this equation, remember we have substitute our pi over uh, our k equal to pi over 2 already. In place of uh, C, C4 here, we substitute negative C3 into this place so that we see what happens. So now we substitute in place of C4, we substitute negative C3 into this. So our general equation now u of x, y will be equal to c2 sine pi x over 2 
C3 A exponent pi y over 2. So in place of C4, I'll put negative C3. So I'll get minus C3 A exponent negative pi y over 2. Now I see that C3 is common, so I can bring it out. I can bring the C3 out. So I'll get C2, C3 sine pi x over 2 e exponent pi y over 2 minus e exponent negative pi y over 2. So I've succeeded in, in factoring out my C3. Now, this, is, this becomes our reduced general equation. What next? We substitute the third boundary condition. Then we take it from there. So now, we have our general equation to be this. We are almost there. So now we substitute the last boundary condition. Any place we see y, we substitute b and equate it to, to 3 sine pi over 2x. So what we have? We have our, so u of xb will be equal to c2 c3 sine pi x over 2 e exponent pi b over 2 minus e exponent negative pi b over 2 and to be equal to remember this 3 sine pi over 2 x so we can divide both sides by sine uh, pi x over 2. So we have our C2, C3, E exponent pi b over 2 minus E exponent negative pi b over 2 equal to 3 sine pi x over 2, okay, divided by sine pi x over 2. So you realize that this can divide that. What is left is 3. So we have our C2, C3, E exponent pi b over 2 minus E exponent negative pi b over 2 is equal to 3. Now I want C2, C3. So I'll make C2, C3 the subject. I'll divide both sides by that. So my C2, C3 will be equal to 3 all over E exponent pi b over 2 minus e exponent negative pi b over 2. Now I know the value of c2, c3 is 3 all over e exponent pi b over 2 minus e exponent negative pi b over 2. I will substitute it into this equation, into this our reduced general equation and see what happens. So you have realized that we know the value of c2, c3. To be this, and we have our reduced general equation to be this. We just start in place of C to C3, we start to this to get our particular solution. That's how it works. Let's start to our C to C3. So, our U of xy in place of C to C3, we we'll put that. So, this will be equal to 3 all over E exponent pi b over 2 minus E exponent negative. Pi b over 2 in place of that. Sine pi x over 2 times e exponent pi b over 2 minus e exponent negative pi b over 2. So you realize that this is divided. So this can divide the whole of that. So we say this can divide the whole of this. So our u of xy is equal to 3 sine pi x over 2. Then this becomes our particular solution to our Laplace equation, given these boundary conditions. I hope you get this. Play over the video, and I know you will get a concept.
please remember to subscribe to the youtube channel if this is your first time and click on the notification bell so that anytime i post a video on this you'll be the first to receive it until we meet again on partial differential equation i say good luck